Welcome to Cloud Computing 101. Nobody understands the cloud. It's a mystery like the ingredients in your last Thursday's meatloaf. Cloud is a buzzword that vaguely suggests the promise and convenience of being able to access files from anywhere. Anywhere! It's a physical infrastructure with many computers housed in huge warehouses all over the world. In the past, you just bought a computer with a hard drive and stored your files there. Now, with cloud computing, you pay a company like Apple or Google to store those files in their physical servers, so you don't have to, and the company will provide you with access to those files whenever you ask for it. Cloud computing is typically described in one of two ways. It's either based on the cloud's location or the cloud's service. Based on the cloud's location, we can classify cloud into four different types, public, private, hybrid, and community clouds. Public cloud means that the whole computing infrastructure is located on the premises of a cloud computing company that offers the cloud service. The location remains separate from the customer and the customer has no physical control over the infrastructure. Private cloud means using a cloud infrastructure solely by one customer or organization. The content, which is protected by a firewall, is only available to that customer or organization. Hybrid cloud is using both private and public clouds, depending on their purpose. For example, public cloud can be used to interact with customers while keeping their data secured through a private cloud. A community cloud is a multi-tenant cloud service model that is shared among several organizations and is governed, managed, and secured by all of the participating organizations or by a third-party service provider. Now we'll take a look at cloud computing based on the types of services offered. The service can be classified into three different types software, platform, and infrastructure as a service. Software as a service is a software delivery method that provides access to software and its functions remotely as a web-based service. Customers use the application running on the company's system. Zoho, Microsoft Office 365, and Salesforce.com are some of the best known examples. Platform as a service is defined as a computing platform being delivered as a service. This means that you develop applications using web-based tools so that they can run on system software and hardware provided by another company. Some examples include Force.com, Windows Azure, and the Google App Engine. Last but not least, infrastructure as a service is defined as computer infrastructure being delivered as a service. This means you're buying access to virtualized computing hardware over the internet, such as servers, network components, and data storage. Examples of some providers are Cloud Sigma, HP Cloud, and SoftLayer. This presentation was brought to you by Quang Nguyen, Pranit, Amar, Gajot, and Siddharth. Donations are welcomed and highly encouraged for future videos. Created using Powtoon.